West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like the breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Her voice in the morning as she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday. In this video we're checking out how to play Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver uh, and I'm playing this on a Journey Instruments paddle jumper. Um, this is a beautiful little mini travel sized guitar that actually packs down into uh, this case here and we're giving away this exact guitar on my Instagram at the moment in a competition which is 100% free to enter. Check out my Instagram, the link is in the description. Give Journey Instruments a follow as well. They make fantastic guitars and I'm really proud to be associated with them. So in this tutorial we're checking out how to play this with a capo at the second fret. This is my new kind of Andy guitar capo as well which I'm really proud of. Uh, so we'll need this at the second fret. We want to place it about there. This song is in the key of A major but with the capo at the second fret we would play all the chords in the key of G major uh, because that's the influence of the capo there and the chords become, and I'll link to a free chord sheet in the description below, we have a G chord. I'm always going to be using this way of playing a D chord which is a D sus4 over F sharp. Lots of words there what it actually means, you could just play a normal D, you've got loads of options with your D chord, play whatever D chord you want with this one, as long as it's D major, it's absolutely fine, but that's our D sus4, and then we place where the first finger is, we move our middle finger to there, and we put our first finger at the second fret on the thickest string, again proportionate to that capo. We can have all six strings ringing out, and it sounds really good with the certain movements and with the picking that we're doing in this particular song. If you prefer to just strum a D major chord, it's A-OK, -okay. no worries at all. We're going to keep the third and little finger down for basically this entire song. It gets a little bit of respite but not much. So the next chord is the E minor 7. The Wonderwall chord, especially with the capo at the second fret, this is uh, the first chord of Wonderwall. And then the next chord is a C add 9. And that would be our kind of four chord song, if you've seen the Axis of Awesome video. Um, you know, take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. And there's, there's a lot of songs that use these chords. That's the majority of them. We do also, in the bridge section, um, have an F chord in there, which any people that aren't comfortable with bar chords, check out this way of playing an F chord. It's really useful. And then we've got a C chord as well. So they're all the chords in the entire song. You will be able to play this absolutely fine with a little bit of perseverance and that capo makes these chords even easier to play because it holds the strings down, just keeps them a little bit lower, uh, makes it a lot more friendly on your fingers if you're still a beginner. I know what you're thinking, don't bore us, get to the chorus. So here we go, here are the chords for the chorus. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. Slightly different order at the end and the second line, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. So that's exactly the same, but then it's C to G. We go C add nine, take me home, country roads. Playing along with me, it's a fun song to join in with. Join in with me, just strum with your first finger in two, three, country roads. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. See then, G. Take me home, country roads. 
The verses are almost the same. Same chords, just a slight variation of the order. We're going G straight to the E minor this time. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. We have that same thing that happens twice, but the C only lasts for two beats. So, almost heaven. One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C, back to G. And then the G the first time there is for a whole bar. One, two, three, four. Little bit weird, but let's play it through together. Two, three, four. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River, three, four, G again. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze, country roads. So it's only two beats, that last one, we're straight into the chorus. You know how this song goes. You've heard it many times, I'm sure. Let's have a look at how we can add that strumming pattern now and bring this to life. You can use a pick and do a kind of picking version of this, I'll show that first, but especially with these smaller body guitars, and especially if you're at home and wanting to practice on, on your own and not disturb everyone else in your house that at this, the time of releasing this video is probably working from home and everyone's at home all the time, um, this is a really good option because it keeps your guitar quiet. It sounds really nice and it's really pleasant, but it doesn't disturb the neighbors or your housemates. So here's what we're gonna be going for. Essentially, this is thumb down up with the first finger. Start off by doing this just with the first finger only. Thumb down up, thumb up, down up. Thumb, down up, thumb up, down up. And my hand is actually moving just the same way as it would normally strum this. So we're kind of strumming, but using our fingers rather than a pick. And if you mute your strings with your other hand, so the fretting hand, you can really hear the uh, rhythm of this. Da, 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 da. Um, so when we add the G chord to that, Thumb, down, up, thumb, up, down, up. And that's still just strumming with the first finger. That's something most people can do. The tricky bit is adding subtlety to that. And the really cool thing we can do is add a tap into it. This is something that Ed Sheeran and John Mayer do all the time. And it's easier than you might think, but there is definitely a knack to it. And I'm under no illusions that they do it better than me. But here's how, you know, mere mortals like me and you can do this, okay? So what we're gonna do is use that first finger, but when we do that first down strum, we're gonna tap. Uh, we're gonna get this tapping sound, which happens in a number of ways, but what you wanna do is just make sure you're tapping the middle two strings, kind of like a little strum like this. But we're gonna try and keep everything ringing out, so it's not a tap, you know, like we would do a mute. Though it is the same motion, but do it with your first finger, not with your hand. I'm doing thumb, the tap strum, up, thumb, up, tap strum, up. And it's a kind of modern way. So this is the tricky part, putting it all together. Let's have a go with the chorus first of all. And we're gonna treat a whole bar of this As that okay so we play a whole bar to the D this is four over F sharp <laughs> now this is where that D over F sharp became so important because that means I can keep the root note or the thumb playing just string six all the time apart from that pesky C chord when it has to go to the fifth string. We can 
can get a similar sound with a pick, but it will naturally be louder. Straight away there's that volume shift. And because uh, picks make the guitar brighter, it, it doesn't always complement the smaller bodies well. But here's what that would sound like with a pick with a similar picking pattern. With fingers? And a lot of that has to do with the, the smaller body, but I think this pattern just works really well with that. Um, let's see how we would do this over the bridge now. We have this bridge, adds a couple of new chords, but we start off the E minor seven, D over F sharp, G. I hear her voice in the morning as she calls me C, G, D. The radio reminds me of my home far away. New chords in this next line, watch out for them. E minor, then I would go for this way of playing an F. An F major 7 is totally fine with the thinnest string ringing out because we're going to go to a C straight after. Now if you're a swanky pants and you can go from uh, the E minor 7 to a barred F and then to C, then do that, that's cool. But a lot of people don't realize the usefulness of learning this way of playing an F, especially with these kind of finger styly ones. Yeah, because it gives us a lot of options. It essentially frees up some fingers so that we could actually play some melodies and do things that you can't really do with bar chords. So don't, you know, if you can do one, try and play the other basically. It was really useful and we do need a good strong F chord, however we play it. After then it's C, back to G, and then to that D chord. And driving down the road I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, na na na, hey, hey, na na na, hey. Sorry, there's different versions of this song. I've got them all going around in my head right now. I'm sure you're the same. The picking pattern with that version. That's all we're going to look at in this tutorial. I want you to have a go and see where you're at with this. I want you to check out some cover versions of this song, which I will leave a link to in the description below, because on the original recording, there's a lot of layered guitars. There's a lot of different guitars playing. It can be hard to know how to do this with just one guitar and just with perhaps one person singing or perhaps with a big sing along at a barbecue with all your family and friends. So I'll leave some of those as inspiration. You can play along to those if you wish and see exactly how uh, many people play them. I'd love for you guys to share some videos of you guys doing this song uh, on Instagram. And as I say, that's where you can check out this guitar and win this guitar on my Instagram. The link will be on the screen now and I hope to see you over there. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.